Hi, my name is Jason, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the Little Martin guitar, the things that are similar to a full size guitar, and it has some obvious differences, but what are the consequences of that, the good and the bad parts? I will do a tone test of this guitar against a full size Martin Dreadnought so you can get a really good sense of what you're getting from a tone point of view. My overall impressions, this is a good guitar. It is not trying to be a full size guitar. So there will obviously be some differences and trade-offs there, but if you want a small guitar, this is a nice one. So let's get into the differences, which the obvious difference being the smaller body. What's not obvious is that the scale length from here to here is about two inches less than a full size guitar and that affects the string tension. I would say that this guitar feels about like a full size guitar strung with 10 gauge strings if that makes sense to you as an experienced guitarist. The neck is a very similar shape if not the exact same shape as a full size guitar. The nut width and the the depth of the neck from the string to the back of the neck is the same as my full-size Martin. So it feels like a full-size guitar with your fretting hand. So the body size affects the tone quite a bit because it doesn't resonate at the lower frequencies. Also, it is not as loud as a bigger guitar. So when you're listening to this guitar, you're hearing more of the direct noise from the string vibration and a little less of the body tone, and then the body tone itself is not as deep as a full-size guitar. So the shape and size has some ergonomic cost benefits. One is that the neck itself is sort of full weight. In fact, this may even be a slightly heavier neck because it's made out of a laminate. I'll show a picture close up of what that looks like. So the guitar has a bit of an imbalance compared to a regular guitar. It wants to neck dive, which means that your fretting hand is going to have to be constantly holding it up, which you can definitely mitigate by having a strap that puts a little friction on your shoulder, um, you know, snug, and that will hold the guitar a little better for you so you can actually fret it without having it dive on you. Also, the size of the guitar, it doesn't hold normally. Like if you set the waist of the guitar on your leg, you'll be holding it in quite a bit different position than you would be holding a full-size guitar. So you actually are kind of tempted to just hold it with the, the bottom of the guitar sitting right in your lap. And then the neck is at a slightly different angle than you would normally hold a guitar, which is different, but it also has the benefit of you can actually sit in an armchair and play this guitar, which can definitely be a benefit as a travel guitar because then you don't need a armless chair to sit in. Overall quality of the guitar, this is a Martin guitar. There's no binding in the nut. The tuners are good quality. This thing stays in tune. I haven't had even a slightest problem with tuning stability. It is a plywood guitar, but I think the price that it is, it's basically, you should expect a plywood guitar. I think it comes very well set up from the factory. It's a good guitar. Talking about this as a travel guitar, the gig bag that it comes in, you could definitely slide that into some overhead compartments. If you wanna test your luck, you can fit it into a big upright piece of luggage, which is what I did. I built a little neck brace for it, set it into the luggage, I packed around it, it worked great. So before I do the tone test, I'm just gonna sum up by saying, if you want a small size guitar, this is definitely a good one. You're gonna hear some stark differences, I think, between this guitar and the full size. It's also about a four times price difference, so they should not be competing directly with each other, but I'm hoping to be able to give you a sense of sort of what this guitar sounds like versus, you know, a really nice guitar. So I'm also gonna sign off and say thank you for watching before I do the tone tests. I do gear reviews like this. I also do a series on issues about building out my home studio and I do live performance of original music on this channel. So please subscribe and thanks a lot for watching. Okay, so we're set up for the tone test. I'm gonna be recording it on these stereo mics. Here is what you'll be hearing. And I'm also gonna have a little 
picture in picture here, which is going to be a decibel meter, and you're going to see that there's quite a difference in the volume. Mm -hmm. 